It does look pretty epic. It looks like we're in Wally -E when they have the big epic spaceship. <laughs> Make me into food. I feel like I'd die if I ate the sun. We didn't want to get wet today. Tomorrow we make katsu curry. Oh. The moment we've all been waiting for. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Hi there. Are you an avatar? <laughs> today we're going to be going to the most futuristic mall in the Philippines. That was loud. <laughs> Welcome to Mega Mall once again. Uh, I think this is our third time in the Mega. It is, it is, and it's further from us than like a Trinobar. Yeah, or something like that. but we're gonna go to Podium Mall, which is the futuristic oh. space mall. It's so futuristic. You ready to? Uh, we can do a presidential speech there if we go on the podium. Oh, because that's Th how it works. Yeah, I don't know. Itsy. Oh my god, where's Stray Kids? Where's Stray Kids? Oh, oh, oh my there god, it's Stray Kids. I've never seen this place before. Podium is definitely an interesting uh, mall name. Definitely. It makes you think that it's going to be grand and podium esque. True, true, very true. So we'll be the judges of that. How? We, we used a coin flip to decide where we're eating today. And that's going to be at Kuya J. We've gotten a lot of recommendations to go to Kuya J. Their Halo Halo is supposed to be very yummy. So. It's we'll time. Be the judge of that as well. There's Angel's Burger right there. We didn't oh, flip for that. Oh. Another flip. We'll try that a different time, everybody. And it's raining. It is. It's literally been raining whole time. It's absolutely absurd at this point. I don't, know. Not on the, I don't know what side of the road to walk on anymore. <laughs> We're all messed up. It's our first time walking the streets since we've been back. Where the heck is this place? That's a hotel. Um, now we're confused and stuck in the rain. We're gonna get sick again, even though we still sort of are. We're lost in the rain. This is not good. We're gonna die. We're gonna get sick again. At least it's only sprinkling. It's not pouring like intramurals or something like that. <laughs> Give it a second, it'll come. We always end up make, taking the most convoluted route possible though. Of course, every time. There's Mesa right there. We had a great experience there. Oh. They might have had some good food, but we didn't get to try it because they didn't have the food. <laughs> Hey, that's the best thing about a restaurant is when they don't have any food. I'm curious to try their boneless pot top though. Why does it have to be raining? Okay, we found it. Just had to walk a little bit farther. The podium. The yeah. podium. Wow, so fancy. And it's guess so what? Christmassy. Only 58 days, that's nothing. That's only that's two nothing. months. Yeah, that's literally only two months. <laughs> wow. So what's the difference between a normal mall and a futuristic spaceship mall? Um, first thing I've noticed is that there's definitely less people, which is- uh, People don't like spaceships in the Philippines? Wow, why you, you guys are so racist towards spaceships that's here? That's so fracked up. Oh, look at this. Aurelia, Ariella. Very fancy, let's buy it. Let's buy it. This whole building, honestly. <laughs> I'm down. Look at we could buy everything in this modern art. Very, very fancy. Well, this is definitely giving me vibes of some of those koala. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is. The fancy areas in the koala one. I was just <laughs> editing those videos right now, and it's very similar. But it's got a big Christmas tree. Look at how sparkly that fracker is. Alright, rate your 10 out of 10 Christmas trees. Where do you put this on the mark? Get a better view of it. Wow. So as a Christmas tree connoisseur, um, I've actually went and picked out my own Christmas tree before uh, and got it all bundled up and everything. Uh, this would probably rank at like a two out of 10. Two out of 10 Christmas yeah. trees? It's not big enough. It's not, it's not got enough lights or anything. Really? Very yeah. sad. Yeah. So, I mean, it does look pretty epic. It looks like we're in like Wally -E when they have the big epic spaceship. And it does look very spaceship-like. 
It's pretty cool. Is this the most futuristic oh mall in the entire world? I don't believe it. The most insanely epic mall ever? The most insane Filipino luxury mall in all of the Philippines. That's a literal title, look it up. This Christmas tree is quite epic. Wow, you were observing things. I noticed your ob observations. It's quite tall. I don't understand why they didn't make the Christmas tree go all the way to the roof. I feel like they kind of took a half measure here. Literally half. It should have been twice as tall. The star should have gone through the glass. Yeah, I mean, honestly, big, a big opportunity mess there. Oh my God. That Mr. Captain America? <gasps> oh, this, see, this is the 10 out of 10 tree right here. This? Because it has the view of the other tree, yeah, so it's yeah. double tree. It's a lot of trees. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of trees. They went all out with the trees and podium here. Podium mall? More like tree mall. Oh. Captain? He's pretty tall. How's it going, sir? He's taller than you. Uh, he's got an extra inch here. Oh. Very fancy. You almost got kicked out of the mall for intimidating Cap. I mean, look at the stature on this young fellow. Is that here. Cap? What's your superhero name? Uh, you ready for this? The Biscuit Boy. The Biscuit Boy. <laughs> the most intimidating of all superheroes. Very creative. What's your power? Uh, I have the ability to dry people's mouths out to the point where they choke. Biscuit like? Yes, very biscuit like. Very fancy. Uh, later today, we're also going to be going to a Filipino theater, uh, which is going to be pretty epic. We're going to go to the IMAX Mega Mall Theater. And we're going to see the beautiful Dwayne The Rock Johnson I on know. an IMAX movie <laughs> in the Philippines. That's, okay. that's, that should be the title of this video, seeing the beautiful Dwayne The Rock Johnson on IMAX in the Philippines. We're going to be able to see every muscle fiber on his massively jacked body. That's very natural body. Very natural. Definitely did not use any form of um, steroid or muscle enhancements. Hey, but he said he hasn't. Oh! Oh, it's like we're back in the Philippines. Nothing's changed. We're still on escalators. We're still in malls and uh, we're still lost. It's still fracking rainy. It's raining more since we've been back and we're supposed to be getting towards the end of the rainy season here. Does it, it does the rainy season go like this? Oh there is a good... Scared, is this a rampage with Dwayne The Rock Johnson? What the frack? It's 47,000 pesos. That's cheap. Let's get it for our condo. A condo in BGC. Oh my gosh, BGC Philippines? <laughs> I think we shouldn't be making a video here. We should just be making only... Oh my gosh, it's My Little Pony. They have everything here. This is truly the future. We're actually coming here with a mission. We actually are looking for a charger for our GoPro. So we need to title the video something very clickbait and very special that everyone else would do. Guys, let's get this charger. We really needed this Philippines. And then no comma, no proper grammar, just put Philippines at the end. I can't believe they had this Philippines. I would have been lost without this Philippines. My channel wouldn't have worked if I didn't have this Philippines. I'm so lucky the Philippines had this Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> Spider-Man? Is that Spooderman? Wow, my little pony's also very tall. Look at like a solid foot of hair Dang. of me. My little, and then Plato man, he can change his enemies into any shape. How terrifying would that have been when you were a kid? If you all of a sudden, your Play-Doh just all of a sudden opened up <laughs> with the lid and there's two eyeballs sticking out. <laughs> Make me into food. <laughs> I could be a corn dog. <laughs> I'm getting the condo. Henry's cameras. Oh, what the heck, they have one here too. Well, they have charger. New title for the video. We're so disappointed Philippines doesn't have this, Philippines. We uh, can't find this, Philippines? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is very futuristic. Dang, it feels good to be a gangster. Oh, if you start here... Oh wait, you get like skinny right here. I turn into a pill. This is very so fancy. <laughs> they have mirrors in the Philippines? No. You can't say what it is. They have this in the Philippines? <laughs> this nope. shocked me. They have this Philippines. Foreigner shocked they have this Philippines? Oh, this power station. Oh my gosh. 
It's a fracking arcade. It's not time zone, it's power but station. It's, like a, it's a spaceship arcade. Oh. <laughs> Most futuristic arcade in the Philippines? It's Star Wars or the Philippines. I don't know. Walk through the spaceship, sir. Does our time zone card work here? I think so, I think so. Power station, it says time zone. Hey, arcade review, let's go. Holy frack, we got peanut m and This is epic. Why do those look like they've been in there forever? They definitely have. I would be surprised if they weren't expired. This is not as epic as time zone. Disappointed. Time zone's way more epic and bigger. But their basketball is more epic. It's so futuristic. I feel like we've finally been transported into the year 3022. There's two tickets for you. Crack, yeah. That is insane. They're going cool. They're going absolutely bonkers in there. Look at that. They're going bonkers. They even brought gloves. I have never seen this game in my whole life, but they know what they're fracking doing. Oh, oh it's not oh. Holy frack! People are insane at touching things. <laughs> I wish I was that good. I need some gloves. Ew. Give me some gloves. Ooh. The most talented man, Philippines? If we could. His talent gave me the goosebumps. <laughs> wow. Look at that. Very fancy. Like a lot of the fancy malls, it's always less busy. Yeah, it is. Other than like the, other than the SM Norths or the Mega Malls, the fancy yeah. ones never have as many people. And it doesn't seem like the restaurants meet the usual clientele. Like you don't have all the pop in the restaurants that the other ones have. No, they have like some of them, but there's definitely way less. But they do have a the coffee bean and tea leaf. Oh, whoa! That's futuristic right there. Oh, we're going into the spaceship's belly, into the L engine room. Yes, we need to go fix some repairs. Our transmitter was damaged during combat. Oh, is this like a VR game where yeah. like, our transmitter was damaged during combat? Please go in and repair it. Oh yeah, it's going off. Yikes. Let's go in balls or... Oh, I wonder if it does that the whole video. It might. Hopefully it didn't flicker for you guys. Let's see. Ah, it seems to focus out. It does not like these lights, but Absolutely. these lights, very nice. All the restaurants are very chill. They are very chill. There's a uh, Mediterranean flavors of the sun. That sounds interesting. I feel like I'd die if I ate the sun. No, you wouldn't. They've perfected it. Oh, here's the skincare section. Ah, time to get wider. There doesn't seem to be much food in this place. That's not a cafe. Yeah, the, this whole bottom floor is all a cafe. I don't really want any cafe food. 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 What the frack? Where was all this stuff? Cuba, man. Indian? Did we ever get to level five? Maybe very temporarily. Oh, there's not that much actually. Wolf King, that's a super expensive place. Oh yeah, there's a cafe was on level five, the uh, Mediterranean. There's not many, food, much food. No, do they even have like... They don't have the chain restaurant. Wow, they have Starbucks Reserve. Fancy. That's why they don't have many things here. They don't have the chain. They have a Manam. Salvatore Cuomo Cafe. Let's go. Thank you, Salvatore. Very epic. Well, that was the Podium Mall. Very fancy. Do you see what I see? Is that... Black Adam with Dwayne The Rock Johnson? The movie we're gonna see tonight? Oh. <laughs> I'm just very excited to see this beautiful mustached man right here. He's very elegant. He looks like he's from a video game or possibly also George Lucas. Oh, he does look like George Lucas, like a much handsomer version of yes. George Lucas. Much more Chad. Oh, Giga Chad George Lucas? <laughs> yes, that's Giga Chad George Lucas. This is what George Lucas would look like if he spent more time in the gym and not making Star Wars. He'd also be a lot poorer. Yes, and we wouldn't have great cinematic history and we wouldn't have had Qui-Gon City without Qui-Gon City? But that was Podium. Very fancy, yes. Futuristic looking, yes. What Christmas else? Yes. Guards? Yes. Uh, this is not where we came in, is it? 
stuff. There's more. Oh wow, look okay. at Ortiga. Very fancy. If you saw our latest video, we've been looking for like condos and stuff. And Ortigas is one of the places we were like interested in and in getting one potentially. But I mean, it looks nice. Very fancy. Seems relatively like traffic. There's been a decent, there's a decent amount of traffic here. Too. True. That was another thing that was the downside of this place is the traffic is insane. Even like even the foot traffic. But uh, it's pretty cool. So that was the Podium Mall. Pretty cool. I mean, it's another mall. It's fancy, not our and type of mall. We would never shop at any of those places ever. No. Uh, this is also a big leaf. Wow, that is quite large. Good job, leaf. Uh, yeah, we. That's, those aren't our type of malls. Let's go to dinner. Wolfgang. Wolfgang, Wolfgang. Wolf, Wolf. Now the best part of every vlog, going from one mall to the other in the fracking rain. Are you fracking kidding me right now? Do they have a half-built Christmas tree right there? This is... Very disappointing, Philippines. Rain or shine, that thing should be completed. Also, they have a broken Rubik's Cube. Are you kidding me? Rain or shine, that thing should be completed. <laughs> he may have a gun, but he still wants to be in the vlog. What if he was trying to be like, he was trying to avoid the vlog, actually, and then you put it on him, and then he's like, no, and then he shot you. That would really suck. Luckily, he didn't do that. He seemed like he was nice. He could have done it at any moment. It's, it's actually illegal to record security guards in the Philippines, and if you put the camera on them, they have the right to, to shoot you instantly. They also have the right to uh, lock you up and then execute you however they please. In the street? Yes, public execution. Ah, oh, frack. Philippines, I thought we were past this. I like this very Dr. Seuss-esque Christmas tree right here. It is very Dr. Seuss-esque. It's like... It's like we're in The Grinch with starring Jim Carrey. It would be called the Shibby Shabbily Tree. Oh! Ah! Ah, danger! The podium has its own street. Very epic. Dang it, we didn't want to get wet today. <laughs> Trying not to get sick. Back to Mega Mall, let's get some Paracan food. We can't find Kuya J, no idea where it is. It pops up on the map, but it's not here so we might be going to somewhere else be ready guys we didn't tell you we didn't make a we're leaving video but we're in japan welcome to japan amazing what the frick someone drinks all the drinks in there and then they put them back in like a savage that's a savage move right there very savage we've been recommended a place called yabu it's a japanese place it looks really good so we couldn't find kuya j unfortunately but there is one in sm north so we can go there tomorrow or next vlog or something. We know where that is. Yeah. So we're going to go to this place. See if it's any good. They have a Japanese mozzarella stick. They look very good. So let's try it, baby. Or Kenny Rogers Roosters. Whoa, whoa. So I guess those people were looking at you like you were weird. What the heck did I do? I don't know. Guys, this is a serious issue. Why does everyone stare at us? That's a joke, by the way. <laughs> Normally when we say that, we are just doing normal things that we get stared at, but sometimes. Or there's Din Tai Fung. Oh, DTF? We've known about that place since Dubai and we haven't gone and it's supposed to be good. Yeah, I've known about it. I've heard of things since then too. Loa's Triple Cheese Donut. That could be good. Welcome to Yabu! House of Katsu. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, we're in the Mega Mall and we've heard good things about this place and there's anime on the walls. Are you fracking kidding me right now? That's very epic. Young one, your katsu skills are improving. Think you are ready for more? Yes, Master Yabu. Tomorrow we make katsu curry. Oh, this is so epic. It seems like a very nice place. It does, it seems fancy. There's some fancy things on the menu. Got some lychee and peach iced tea. Uh huh. Is it sweet? It's not super sweet, it's more of the tea tea. Ah. Which is good because those flavors are pretty smooth in it then. Does it? But it leaves that tea aftertaste. Does it make you feel like you're going down in Georgia? Do, 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 do. Yeah. I get my peaches out of this. That probably sounded great. And I got some lemonade, but is it Japanese? Is it Japanese lemonade? How Japanese we talking? Pokemon? It tastes like 
Pikachu. That's pretty good. It's a little more lemony than sugary, which I kind of like sometimes. It's not super sour. I like my lemonade sour sometimes. I just want it to punch my, just like right in the face. Just, just like a canker sores? Yeah, I want a canker sores on there. Uh, we, we have an interesting thing here. You make your own sauce with a stick and a bowl and seeds. So you just crunch them up. You're like an apothecary. Uh, I'm gonna make some elixirs for my, uh, I'm an alchemist and I wanna make some elixirs for the witchers. It's like in Skyrim when you have oh. to. Oh, wait. I've never done this before. Nothing seems to be breaking. I feel like I'm making some sort of like epic art project right now. The art is in the food. It, it, my sauce is gonna be so artistic, everyone's gonna be so jealous. They call me the human blender for a reason. Oh, they don't call you the human crusher though. It seems like it's gonna take a while. This yeah, is it's, how not, they, it's not going very quick. This is how they entertain you while you wait for your True. food. They didn't tell us how long it would take for the food, so that's it's true. Is this the Philippines, or are we still in Malaysia? Is this working? It seems like some of them some are smaller. There's stuff on the bottom, but I don't know how much. What are you supposed to, like, does this have to be like a powder, like a snortable powder? I don't know. That's how you taste test would if Bong it's Would Bong Bong come for you if it is a snortable powder? He would. This is where we will be executed if it's snortable. All right, uh, we're gonna grind away and we'll see where we get. <laughs> Ooh, first person grinding? Is this the club or is this Yabu? Grinding update, it's getting smaller. Seems like it's much easier if you just go in a circle like this. Just gotta circle it? Because of the ridges on there. Look at how grinded that is. Oh yeah, and there's mozzarella sticks here, but that's not the important thing. No, time to keep, I'm gonna keep grinding. Keep um, grinding. I don't even care about the food. I'm just gonna grind until it's it's not any more grindable. Make it into a paste. Like somehow make it, it'll get wet. You're really doing a great job there, buddy. Anyways, mozzarella sticks. Look at how yummy these look, my gosh. Is this yum yum sauce? They smell Katsu yummy. mozzarella sticks? How, or is this shrimp, tem, shrimp tempura? All right, we need a cheese bowl on this. Oh, they're so soft. There better be a, that is a cheese bowl if I've ever seen one. These are the ones that I would have ate way too fast when I was a little kid and the cheese would have went down my throat. And then I'd and be really scared like, to eat mozzarella sticks. I the breading that. is so soft. It's so soft. You bite it, it's just mm. I haven't choked yet. That's good. But there is still good cheese bowl. Why did that happen? It is very oily. Best mozzi in the in the Philippines? It is really good. We haven't got Chiz Matza yet, so I don't think we can oh. uh, be the judge of anything there. Wait for our uh, mall street food video coming soon. We had that idea since like the first day we came here. There's a lot of ideas we've had for a long time that we're always like, oh, wait for this video. It's coming, I swear. It'll come when we run out of things to do. All right, uh, you don't get to taste test it. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue grinding. Uh, since I'm a true Japanese uh, weebu. I'm gonna eat it with my chopstick. Japanese people love eating mozzarella sticks with chopstick. Can we eat it like a true weebu? Is this illegal in Japan? Definitely. I serve when she got set. I mean, for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the the brightness went up on here all of a sudden. Uh oh. Oh, I took the mozzarella oh. stick from you. <laughs> my food arrived. Very quick, much faster than many other places, actually. I think it's just because we were so entertained by the True. They're grinding. We didn't know that 20 minutes passed already. Time just flew. I'm gonna try this sauce. It looks pretty good. Very orange. Oh, I thought you were actually using them properly for a second, but you only have one sauce. <laughs> That's good. It kinda tastes like yum yum sauce, if you've ever had that. Mm. It's yummy. It's a it has a little bit of a spice to it. These mods are sticks, they're delicious. They're really soft breading. The cheese is nice and melty, a good string to it, and that, that breading. The, the like flavor of the breading is really yummy too. Which gets me excited for this stuff. Definitely. Oh, look, there's a little thing of something here. Yeah, What? it's not on, oh no, it is on mine. They literally didn't give us a fork. They are expecting it's... many things from us. And unfortunately, like the Biscuit Boys we are, we fail. 
We do. Every single price. It's ricey. Cabbage. Cabbage. -y. Look at how good I am. Look at the cheese oozing from there. It's pretty yummy. So this is like minced, something about minced meat, ground beef, and pork. So sounds pretty good, and it's got creamy cheese inside. Yum. Super hot. Whoa, it kind of tastes like it has some burger flavors. Okay. It's the beef. But then also, <coughs> you get the pork in you in there, so it has a dumpling flavor on it too. Oh. And then the breading is amazing, and the cheese is creamy and delicious and melty and warm. That is super good. Like, super, super, super good. It said that the original chef on the menu uh, is was a Michelin bib gourmet or whatever the heck you call it, uh, chef, which is like uh, very good. Very. So he probably made all these recipes and they'll look pretty amazing. Watermelon? Best thing, hands down. Okay. Honestly, just chuck that across the restaurant right now. I will, right now. Miso soup? How do you eat this without a spoon? You drink it? It seems like it's super fragging hot, so I'm gonna wait. And uh, you can eat some of yours. Ah! Oh, are you ready for your fancy Michelin pork? Michelin pork? After your brown rice? See, it tastes like rice, but the kicker here is brown. And it's Michelin star rice. It is Michelin star rice. The chef made that himself. Cabbage? You know what we didn't do? Uh, we didn't finish our sauces yet. No, we gotta keep grinding. <laughs> no, um, gotta finish my cabbage. But, I, oh, I didn't even review the cabbage yet, sorry. It's a bit cabbagey. Yeah. Um, there's also a bit of like subtle flavors in there, like cabbage. And, um, Got like an undertone of cabbage also. Yum. That just flew out of my mouth, sorry. Yum. The Kobe beef of pork. It said it's super juicy. And yes, it's the Kobe beef of pork. That's very fancy. It doesn't look any different than normal pork. Oh. Does it taste like a live pig? You know how soft the breading is, right? Yeah. That's exactly how soft the pork was oh. too. And it is really juicy. Okay. Wow, look at us pros with the chopsticks. Very professional right there. That is really good, really good. I definitely think it could use some sort of sauce or some sort of cheese or something like that. Well, so. get back to grinding, bucko. Get back to grinding. Hey everybody, Chopstick Pro back at you with another uh, completed sauce. Let's see how it is. Mixed in everything. Look at how great that sauce looks. Oh, and now I'm a chopstick pro master going at it. Whoa, I don't know how to describe it. It's good. I mean, it really makes it taste here. Okay. There's so many flavors going on, it's hard. I taste it right away, and then the meat and the cheese takes over right away. Okay. But it, it tastes good, it's kind of... Is it a soy sauce thing or no? It's kind of... It's very hard to describe. I don't know, it's kind of sweet a bit and tangy, a little sour maybe. Okay. And a little earthy with the seeds and the pepper. So it definitely improves the whole experience for sure. We are Michelin star reviewers, we so... We are. I've definitely tasted that <coughs> one million times before. Very oh, yeah. fancy. Cabbage. Great thumbnail right there. I see a little pot of secrets right here. What is this? Ta it's soup. Yeah, we are secret. supposed to have some sort of thing that's... You would th unless they drink. <laughs> Drinking soup. Mm. That has a lot of hard and flavor. Like all soups, it's nice and salty. Oh. But it's got a lot of greens in there, so it tastes pretty vegetable-y too. Oh wow, that means it's healthy? Salt and vegetables is always healthy. But it's also got, uh, not actually butter, but maybe butter. Ugh. Some sort of butteriness to it, or something like that, that cancels out the greens, <laughs> for sure, when it comes to healthiness. Tastes good, though. Tastes good. good. You always need a good soup. You could put it in that cup when you're done and just drink it. Mm -hmm. 
It looks the same color as your iced tea. It does, actually. It does. Yummy, yummy, yummy. In my tummy, tummy, tummy. Is that what you meant? <laughs> Sir, you, were at, you asked for a spork. I asked for a spork? Yeah, that's, that's you asked for a utensil, that's your utensil? Oh my gosh, that's better than chopsticks. Wow! Oh my god, this is new and improved. You thought chopsticks had to be skinny? We're playing with our food too much. Stop playing with your food! It's so disrespectful! How <laughs> far does this thing come out? Uh, is it like syrup where you have to do it a certain direction? Oh, there we go. Oh, oh. Oh, 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 fancy. Cabbage sauce taste test. So is this gonna be like a salad then with like a ranch on it? But like the Japanese version of that? And in Japanese versions, they only use one vegetable. They don't like tomatoes. They don't like croutons. It makes it not dry. Hey. Pretty good. It's very salad with the ah. dressing esque. Very nice. Salad. I need some more Lefrac and lemonade. <laughs> Top 10 worst thing about Filipino malls and Filipino bathrooms is they have toilet paper for paper towels. And then you rub it and then it just breaks. Yes. Why? It seems like you have to use much more paper to get the same yeah. amount of result too. Wasteful. We just end up with waste uh, watery paper. That was Yaboo. Very tasty. It was really tasty. You get like unlimited cabbage, unlimited miso soup, unlimited fruit, and unlimited rice. That's cracking amazing. So if you want unlimited possibilities, you go to Yaboo. Yaboo. Or unlimited can... possibilities. <gasps> we just made them a new slogan. Or you can do this. Yaboo! Kickaboo! You'll only understand that if you watched our Malaysia vlog. And if you didn't watch our Malaysian vlogs, why are you such a loser? Loser! <laughs> you guys are all losers. Losers! Lot loses 500 viewers because of that. <laughs> Alright, now it's time. The moment we've all been waiting for. Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Is that Dwayne? It, hey, it's me, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Go check out my new movie. Uh, Black Adam we, premiering, I don't remember. We barely even know what this movie's called, but I'm so excited. I just know it was like sort of a meme because it had so much advertisement from Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> That's not a thing he made four Instagram posts in one day about him Ooh. walking into a meeting and doing meeting stuff. He had four Instagram posts of that. I'm ready. If Dwayne likes it, then we're bound to like it. <laughs> He won't, he won't have any bias or anything. No, definitely not. He definitely didn't make like $30 million. Wow, very fancy. That's very nice. This is more futuristic than Podium. Whoa. All right, what's better, this or Dwayne? We will go down here after the movie and go into the Christmas cyber zone. Oh, whoa. That's cool. Christmas. <laughs> it's so bright. So are all the outside malls? Do they all have trees this size? Or all right. Just the mega mall. A uh, SM mall or a Filipino mall Christmas decoration tier list video coming yes. soon. <laughs> We're gonna do a tier list on it. Get ready. It's gonna be. It's a heated debate. So you guys aren't gonna want to miss it. We're gonna go down to Etsa and hit every single mall on the way down Etsa and. Uh, there's only one way if you want to know what's the best Christmas decorations in the Philippines. We are the best. We're obvious. Oh, wow, it got really cold off. Burr. We are the connoisseurs of Christmas trees. As I you know. Saw earlier or in the other video in the podium mall. That's what I'm saying. We're ready. Be ready. It's coming. Oh, great, an escalator. Meow. The only thing that can freeze him from his state of paralysis. Is it in the SM Christmas song? It's an SM holiday, dee dee Christmas in SM. It's a song. The only part I know is an SM holiday. So if you ever see a man standing mysteriously still on an escalator, is it an SM holiday? I don't know what a practice movie theater is anymore. Is it on the other side of this stuff? 
I have no idea. <laughs> we thought we knew where the movie theater was and we were wrong. Good thing we have like another 30 minutes to find it still. It's the Mega Mall. It's always, it's always a, a journey to find things in here. The most simple layout, but most hard to find anything. So imagine how hard it's going to be to find things in the Saudi Arabian wine city. True, very true. Everything's within five minutes of each other though. It's like the Mega Mall. It's just a line. So you have to remember what part of the line everything is. It's challenging. It's an SM holiday. Doo -doo. On the last, last escalator, there's someone up higher, and she was literally on the escalator, like, <laughs> just looking down at me the whole time. I was just like, <laughs> That's the best song I've ever heard. It's almost as good as the Kenny Rogers Roaster song. I think those two are up there on my list of, I think they both reached the top five. Oh, really? Uh, favorite songs ever. <laughs> That is pretty epic. Unfortunately, they're not going to beat out tri -Fate's exclusive song, Cheeseburger. The unreleased? Unreleased song from us. We'll release Cheeseburger at 100,000 subscribers. Thank you very much. It's a great song about a bear from Far Cry 5. We'll give you a very, very slight preview. Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. And that's all you get. Uh, Director's Club Cinema. Yeah. IMAX right there, so we have to go up one more. We found it! Yay! We're so Lit, no bro. knowledgeable, bro. So epic! Well, we're not even going to the movie, we're going to the cyber zone, right? Yeah, because that's where we can find Dwayne the Rock Johnson. That doesn't oh. make any sense, but because <laughs> he's He's chilling in the Philippines in uh cyber <laughs> in a cyber zone at an SM Mega Mall. Why are their stroller dogs always so yipey? Did that one not have a diaper on? Are you kidding me right That's now? That's against the law. I think uh, you're allowed to... You don't get the dog out of there, you execute the owner. I don't think we've seen a single uh, dog in the Philippines without a diaper on. Is yeah. that Wonder Woman? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gal Gadot looks different now. Yeah, what the heck? I thought she was taller. I thought she was like Middle Eastern. Yeah. She's Filipino now? Apparently. Wow. Oh, Wakanda forever. And there's this fracking like uh furry? Yeah, this furry woman right here. Is this like one of those streamers that puts on their cutesy outfits and then streams? Yeah, for sure. Possible VTuber too. VTuber! And then they have like a really high voice. And then they get like two a thousand dollar donation. They're like, thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, we Isaac will dress up in that outfit if you give us a one thousand dollar donation. Yep, I will. Thank you very much. <laughs> Don't do it on YouTube. Uh, they'll take half of it. Hi there. Are you an avatar? <laughs> Oh man, it's only taken 13 years for this movie to come out. Will it hold up? I don't know. I haven't even seen the trailers for this. Do they even say anything or is it all just like, wow, look at how yeah, beautiful it, it like is. It's, they're trying to go super cinematic with the trailers. It's really loud in here, but we're here. Very IMAX. Oh, their robots have gotten smaller. It's like Halo. We got drink, two types of popcorn, and um, we wanted to get sour cream popcorn, but it wasn't available. We've never seen that at the at a, a movie theater before. It would have been such a new experience taking this off for actors. It's very empty in here. We thought, <laughs> you know, Black Adam, it might be a bit, bit busier. No. Everyone's seen Murder House. Oh. And Smile. Yes. Oh, they have, they ride on dolphins now. Flying dolphins. All right, but let's uh, taste test some of this stuff, I guess. Oh, shake that flavor. Maybe the sour cream will just come out of the bag. Okay. Oh, it smells like sour cream. Holy nuts. Plain popcorn. Let's see. Takes you to a new world. What in the... It's not taste like plain popcorn. What the frack? What does it look like? It Very looks yellow. like popcorn. This is the time it's probably the oil they cook it really? in. Really? It's like some sort of oil or something. It's slightly different. Does that person really have a light on? It is perfectly bright in here, man. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Not very flavorful. No, nothing crazy. In the U.S. with popcorn. 
butter it and salt it. That's usually the way. Very, very happens. salty. Very, very buttery. And this one, it seems like they have a butter flavor, uh, but it was maybe a powder type thing. Weird. She poured in a bunch of stuff. Yeah. I don't know. Caramel corn. Oh. Wakanda forever. Caramel corn, you also don't listen to me. It's crunchy. It's a bit more of a fruity sweetness. What? Than the other car caramel corn. Weird. Whoa. Bro. Really sweet. Tastes good though. Very good. It's definitely a different. It tastes like candy. It does taste like candy. Once I just swallowed it there, it tastes exactly like candy. What the heck? That's good. It's gonna be a, like a good big stuff, I think. It's good. It's good. Really good. Wow, I can totally see you right now. Wakanda <laughs> forever. Oh. All right, we need to try Royal and Sarsi. We haven't had a Royal. Royal? It's very watery. Sarsi, can you see me? I can see like half your face. Weird. It's more. This is so loud. Oh. More of like a smell and an aftertaste than an actual taste. Weird, okay. This is very like, if you had a root beer flavored candy, that's what I think it would taste like. Can't even see a single thing on the <laughs> camera right now. It's not even worth it. Oh. Black Adam's starting. Let's see if it's any good. Review after. We're movie connoisseurs, so hopefully you enjoy. <laughs> can't see a thing. Well, that was the movie. Just leaving out. Oh, oh, what the heck? Black Adam. Uh, that was the okay. The movie theater experience first. Yeah. The yeah. screen was nice very and big. big. Yeah, yeah. The sound big. quality was very nice. It was very rumbly. You got the full like shaking experience. The sound very good. It wasn't any like. You felt like you were in the movie. Yes, because the screen was so big too. You like fills your whole eyeballs. And we were in like the farthest back row you could get, yeah. so it was good. So the theater, all over, pretty good. The popcorn, the caramel corn was really good. I liked it a lot. I liked the normal corn, but it was weird for sure. <laughs> the seats were, they were good. They, the cup holders were surprisingly like in. Yeah, my elbow kind of hurts. And I I didn't use the cup holders, but every time I drink the thing and then I try to put my cup down, I put it down right here, but it was actually like right here, which is weird. Something with the cushion on the armrest might not have been the greatest. My elbow does feel a little bit like I was leaning on it too much. I mean, compared to the seats in the movie theater I used to work at, those are like reclining. They were very brand new. And we didn't go to the director's club. No, yeah, we should have gotten. It looked like the director's club was very similar to the one back where I used to work at. and. Those seats are very nice, so. Uh, another thing, it was absolutely freezing cold in there. really cold, I don't know why. It's because they my wanted hands. us to buy the blankets. My hands are really cold right now. They were selling blankets, that was the huge scam there. They make you, they make it super cold, so you're like, shoot, I should have bought a blanket. bracket blank or. The like, drinks were drinks. The drinks were drinks. My Sarsi was pretty good. Like, my Royal was pretty good too, a bit watered down. Overall, the movie, if you're gonna go to a movie in the Philippines, wear a sweatshirt. At least at the Mega Mall IMAX yeah. theater. We haven't had to put a sweatshirt on in months. <laughs> and apparently in the movie theater, we should have put it on. Have fun wearing it here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now Black Adam. Um, We're see professional we... movie reviewers, so. Yeah, we reviewed uh, Doctor Strange. Yep, in our India movie theater. So. And we reviewed uh, Halloween Ends in Malaysia. So if you want an epic review, this is where you come. Uh, it was entertaining. I liked it. I liked it. Um, but when you have a movie and you miss out on one of the big points of movies, which is acting, uh, it takes away from it a lot. The actors were really bad. I mean, the, we, everyone knows The Rock isn't the greatest actor out there. And his movies are notorious for that, like just in general. And I feel like it was a The Rock movie. And The Rock was one of the better actors in the movie. So let's just say, that, let's just put it at that. 
bar. It was like a the Dwayne the Rock Johnson movie with the acting, but they just got a massive budget. <laughs> the a lot of the side characters, like even some of the main side characters, the acting was not good. There was a kid in the movie. He was not a good actor at all. I've seen kid actors that are decent before, and this one was not even close <laughs> to decent. I'm sorry. The um, dialogue and the writing was really cheesy at times. Like there's like they tried to be funny, like a Marvel movie, and Marvel movies really aren't pulling it off that well nowadays either. Not at all. So to try it with this movie, it also didn't work. Did we go too low or something? We're on YouTube, we should be good. So that was an interesting addition to it as they, well. They did a lot of like, little oh, I'm cool guy, like oh, yeah. back and forth type things. Yeah, some of, some of the side actors and main characters were pretty good actors. Some of them were not. Yeah, so. And the villain was the, I'm evil because I'm evil type. Yes, yeah, and he's like... They tr I feel like they set up a story that they tried to make unpredictable, but it was very predictable. Very predictable, yes. All right, we're going to take a brief intermission from the review to bring you Christmas tree. Wow, it's so bright. Look at that. Very epic. It is very epic. Right, right next to the Din Tai Fung. Din Tai Fung? Din Tai Fung. We gotta go. There's a line for the uh, epic, whatever the frack you call that, of Christmas. The, uh, we did it in the Museum of Illusion. So the mirror prism of Christmas. Yes. <laughs> Look at this, very epic. Very fancy. This is kind of scary. Happy Christmas. Very nice. Very Christmassy. Very Christmassy. Oh. Oh, Very Christmassy. Great. They have a rocket ship of Christmas. We have the Din Tai Fongers making tons of dumpies. Look at them. They're going ham on the dumpies. Dang. That's pretty bright and epic. That is pretty epic. And uh, all right, back to the review after we went to Christmas Town. The action in the movie was really, really cool. Like, really good action. The effects looked pretty good. Other than the villain CGI kind of looked yeah, super cheap. He looked like he came straight out of Doom. <laughs> and, um, but the action was really cool. The way they used the Black Adam, like, slow motion scenes. When he would go super fast, it would slow all the way down. And he'd they do weren't cool afraid. Stuff. They weren't afraid to go too far with the action. Like, show, like, actual intense action parts. It was cool that he was, like, just ruthless. He just went and murdered everybody. And he would murder them on purpose. Like, a, one of the heroes would save some of the villains. Uh, feel his antennas, please. Uh. <laughs> And then, like, he would just murder them just because they they didn't deserve to live. Oh. Yeah, then, uh, the, uh, after he'd murder them, then there'd be some intense, cheesy dialogue between two characters. Heroes don't kill. I do. That's pretty much the dialogue. <laughs> yeah. But overall, I, it was a fun movie. I'd give it a go watch it if you want to be entertained rating. I'd give it a don't look too deep into it rating. Don't, and they uh, don't expect to be blown away by acting. <laughs> don't expect any Oscar performances. No, no. What if we get proven wrong? They have uh, the Oscar for best acting. Not even in like a superhero movie or anything. It's just best acting and then they give it to Black Adam. Oh, Black Adam. Greatest acting in any movie ever. <laughs> yes. We're gonna head back. Thanks for watching everybody. Black Adam. Uh, epic Black Adam, Black Isaac skit coming oh, now. We got. I think we have the same budget. Oh, wow, it's much warmer now. Oh man, feels nice. We are finally out of the theater. Is it raining? No. Very nice. To the MRT we go. Let's just be glad we're not taking the fracking bus. What if it curves around and then it goes up the MRT thing? <laughs> We'd be like, ah, we're going to walk down the street and get a taxi. My hands are nice and sticky. Yummy. Wow. 
We did it. We navigated successfully. Without electronics, are we basically God? Yes, we are. <laughs> Hello? It's me. Black Isaac? I don't kill people. You don't kill people? But I'm no hero. I don't think I asked either of those questions, sir. And heroes, they don't kill people, but I kill people. I thought you just said you don't kill people. Well, I wasn't supposed to receive this gift. What are, what are we talking about right now? I kill people. Uh-huh. And I'll kill you too. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Say goodbye to your life. Ah, <laughs> oh, that bracket hurt my foot. <laughs>